having a wonderful Saturday. Okay. Mojo's decided to join us again. For some reason, it was Boomer all this time during shoutouts. Now it's Mojo. <laughs> oh, it's Boomer. Anyway, it's time for neighborhood community shoutouts. Are you are are you tapping your foot on my ottoman? I mean, excuse me. Are you tapping your foot on my hassock? Nobody came up with the word hassock for her. She was desperate to hear it. Now you want to know why? Why? As I looked it up. Okay. Okay. Tell me why. A hassock, a tuffet, and a poof or a puffy has. It doesn't have legs, and it just sits on the floor. It's completely upholstered. And you could either sit on it or use it for the point of your feet. If it has legs, then it becomes a stool. If it's larger and possibly has uh, storage, then it's an, actually an ottoman. So nowadays, normally, most things have feet or uh, legs. This actually has a, a pedestal, so that makes it an ottoman or a footstool. All I know is growing up, my parents always referred to it as a hassock. And that's what I grew up knowing it as. And when I first called it a hassock... I was wondering, what he, the heck are you talking about? He laughed at me. She says, get the hassock. A what? I don't... Uh, give the hassock. Get I don't talk like that. She, she doesn't? No, I don't. I said, get the hassock. Yeah, yeah that's different. Well, I don't talk me on my <laughs> nose when you're talking. <laughs> Give me your mojo. <laughs> anyway, Continue. it's time for shout outs. It's time for her to shout out. Will you be quiet enough, long enough for me to do it? <laughs> he never shuts up. I'm telling you guys. You all think I'm the talker. He's the talker. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. All right. Okay. Thoughts and prayers, guys. Thoughts and prayers. Um, a few days back, we told you about Pammy Clinton. And will you please stop kicking that? It's annoying me. <sighs> no idea what she's talking about. Yeah. See? Stop it! Continue. Jeez. A few days back, we told you about Pammy Clinton and her daughter, Dior. How they went on a mini vacation and Dior fell and broke her leg. Well, Pammy Clinton, her mother, was carrying her the other day, and it was raining, and Pammy slipped and fell and broke her elbow, <laughs> trying to protect Dior during the fall. I'm sorry she, I laughed, but that's funny. She fell down and she broke her elbow. So now we need prayers for Dior for her broken leg and for Pammy for her broken elbow. So what is that thing called? The big uh, the blow up thing that you you stick kids in? The plastic bubble that the you want to get me? Yeah. Yeah. Pammy uh, and Dior. I think Kevin's going to be uh, ordering a bubble for you at some point. <laughs> So anyway, if everybody could please send out uh, happy thoughts and prayers for Pammy and Dior. Or a bubble. <laughs> okay, and then uh, we also spoke about Proudest Mama 77, how she was having um, a lot of seizures lately. The doctors have given her extra medication, and if we can still... Even though she's got it under control right now, please continue to keep her in your thoughts and prayers um, that she continues to get better with this medication. And she wanted to say her superhero name would be the Healing Queen, and she would cure epilepsy and all other diseases to make the world a happier, healthier place. Coolness. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I love my singing monsters, answered the superhero question today. And he said he would be the watcher. And his superpower watches YouTube for hours. I was going to say, and the to be weak, the watcher. And his weakness, 
late uploads. <laughs> Power outages. Yeah. And... We, we feel you on that. Sometimes, well, little, most times we're up to like 3 o'clock in the morning. Low battery. <laughs> yeah. And Gareth Anderson. Miss you, guy. Welcome back. And... That's it on shout out, and now we are on to my question that I asked yesterday, which was, if they were to make a movie of your life, who would you want to play you in the movie? Okay, Angie Lupus Life, name blast from the past, Christy McNichol. Wow. That's a, that's a good one, though. I, I would have never thought of her, but yeah. Okay, Jay the Cannabis Explorer thought he was trying to uh, not be so obvious by picking this name, but uh, I, I think it was pretty obvious. Willie Nelson. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who else? Yeah. Come on, Jay. Lucy Owl said she would want Megan to play her. Hmm. Pretty awesome. Thanks. Greg Myers, Robert England. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Uh, Melody Mainville, Mom's Wog 80, Jennifer Gardner. I think that would be, she would depict Melody pretty good, I think. Jack Salmon, Don Rickles. And he sent us a little link to watch Jack Salmon doing a roast of Clint Eastwood. Not Jack Salmon, Don Rickles. I mean, Don <laughs> Jack Salmon, are you roasting... <laughs> Why are you talking to us? You know, these um, Jack Salmon sent us a link to watch Don Rickles roasting Clint Eastwood. Yeah. And it, it, if you're hit, it, he's funny. Let's <laughs> okay. just leave it at that. Yeah. Terry Johnson said that she would use her superhero, uh, Terry Time, to go back in time to get a younger Sally Fields to play her. Bambi S. says Heather Graham, and she's picked Heather Graham because her daughter, every time she sees Heather Graham, says, Mom, she looks like you when you were younger. So, damn, Bambi. You were one hot mama. Uh, Tram Zam Girly, she picked Nikki from Nikki and John. <laughs> I think that would be an honor to have Nikki play somebody. Mm. Nikki is beautiful. Proudest Mama 77, Sophia Vergara. Vergara. Do you know who she is? Yeah. I can't picture modern her. Modern Family, she's yeah. in Modern Family. Yeah, I just can't picture her. We don't watch that show, but you can't help but not notice her. Yeah. Can't yeah. It's like I can't help but notice Daryl Dixon, you know. Um, Tracy Quick says Jennifer Aniston would beg to play her. <laughs> Tracy, you're too cute. Uh, the Abyss 92882, Gabriel Iglesias. Did I say it right? Mm -hmm. Iglesias. So that's everybody who answered the <gasps> question of the day. Okay. Hey, who, who would you have play you? Well, a lot of people say I look like William Macy. Well, you said that. Yeah. But, and I would love, Kevin Spacey would probably good playing me. But I would like to have Arnold Schwarzenegger play me. Just because I would like to hear him say, Yes, yeah. <laughs> You're silly. You're silly boy. Okay, I had a tough one with this, but I'm going to stick Your with... Your question... I know, but I, I had a tough one in picking who I would choose. But I'm going to stick with my original answer, which is Sissy Spacek. When I was younger and thinner, thinner, um, a lot of people told me I looked a lot like Sissy Spacek. And what made me, like, go with her as my final choice... Carrie. Yeah, was her role in the movie Carrie. Because, uh, yeah, I think that Dick... D dip, what's what's the word I'm trying to dip takes, d depicts, depicts is that it? I think that depicts me, um, and my anger. Very well. 
Okay. Right, dear? Yes, dear. <laughs> no. I mean, I mean yes, dear. That's better. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> I'm going to put my book on my hassock it's, right now. It's not a tumor. <laughs> and my question for today is, what do you prefer? The hustle and bustle of city life or the quiet and serenity of country life? And why? You look like you're thinking. Yeah, because I don't know... Um, well, you're not that... supposed to answer till tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! All right. Yesterday's question was about the Mensa 13, 1963. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, and kind of Roger Corman. He was kind of involved, but yeah, I think Roger Corman was supposed to direct it, but he loved to do it. Um, the, the, the original title for the movie was Dementia, but there was already a movie called Dementia, so they decided they had to change the name, so Roger Corman just suggested 13, because people would, what he said, was that people would show it on the 13th of every month. It become a, a cult thing. So Roger Kerman was always thinking of cult things. So that's how Dementia 13 came about because otherwise 13 was nothing in the movie. And people who got that right was Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, and Bambi S. Now I have an interesting question for today. It has Excuse to do me. Yay! Okay, continue. My interesting, I had to be to do, but the interesting question for today has to do with the 1982 John Carpenter's The Thing. I love that movie. All right, so there is a scene where the dog is walking down the hall in the, uh, this place. The, 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 the little... Research center in the middle of yeah. the South Pole. It looks, it looks like trailers. Uh-huh. And um, you see the shadow of somebody connecting to the dog, right? Who was the shadow? Who was the person that was beckoning the dog? There you have it, your question of the day. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you all. <laughs> very much. Oh. Thank you all for following along with us every single day. Thumbs up and we will see you all tomorrow.